United States supporters in the streets of Brazil last night, following a big win for the US in its opening game of the World Cup in a steamy Natal, Brazil, as it outscored Ghana two goals to one in a hard-fought matchup that reversed the tables from the two previous World Cup encounters. Here with more on where Team USA goes from here is Jeffrey Foster. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Big win. Wow, Huge what, a, what win. a fantastic that, yes. that second goal. That second a goal. A Brooks. lot of American soccer fans should be happy this morning. They played, I mean, obviously, Ghana had, you know, much of the play, and it really did look as if they were going to sort yeah, of Yeah, I mean, it was a strange game. They scored, you know, 30 seconds into the game, Clint mm -hmm. Dempsey scored, and then the whole game they were basically, you know, trying to stay alive. And then they gave up a goal, which, you, you know, was inevitable at that point. And then they were able to counter with the sub, right. John Brooks. But it, it was good defense through the middle of that for yeah, much it of it. There, was, there were some moments that were pretty dicey. There's room for improvement. Absolutely. It wasn't perfect. They were giving the ball away a lot, a lot of, you know, possession right. mistakes. But, you know, it was it was all, all, all in all, considering that Jurgen Klinsmann had been pre preparing for this game for seven months. It was a good result. Right, right. He, had, he must be happy. A really good way to start out. Um, but some injuries. Uh, Josie yeah. Altidore. Josie Altidore is injured. It looks like a hamstring strain. We don't know the extent of it. I mean, this is the kind of thing. It could be a month. It could be a week. He could come back. He's probably out for the Portugal game, which is their next game. But again, we don't know the extent of the hamstring injury. So and, uh, you know, he's a tough player to replace because he's a target striker. They don't really have another guy who can play up front and can play that position. They have they have a couple other strikers, but they, they don't really have a guy like him that they need. Let's take a look at what we have coming up because this is the, 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 the key question here. Um, next game's, uh, it looks like we don't the, have the a next game's Portugal, game's The next up, game's Portugal yeah. on Sunday, and, and that's a big game. There it is. Yeah. Um, Germany, you, you Portugal know. obviously lost very badly to Germany, which is good for the U.S. because uh, goal difference is the tiebreaker so the fact that they lost 4 nothing is a very good result for the US the Germans did us a favor uh, <laughs> by beating them so bad and uh, Portugal got a red card Pepe one of their key defenders got um, a red card so he's out for that game they had a couple injuries that, uh, also so you know they don't look like they're in you know full capacity it is a tough group though it is a yeah. tough group and you know Cristiano Ronaldo their key star will be there and he'll is obviously gonna give the US a lot of problems so it's not easy but they, they definitely are beatable. Right. I mean, Germany, they're probably going to lose too. But at this point, if Germany beats Ghana, Germany might be already through, and they might not really care so much about, uh, when they play the U.S. in that third game. So that that also is a good result. They're going to give them a gift, though, I imagine. They're not going to give them a <laughs> gift, but, you know, you know, if they have six points and they're already through, they might not, you know, they might yeah, rest some good. of their players. It could be good for the U.S. Wow. So, I mean, what, what's the strategy going forward, though? I mean, is, is, is it obviously, each, I mean, each team is different. I mean, what, what are they pushing uh, The key forward? thing right now is to get one more point. I think four points, one tie will get them through. They needed three points in this game against Ghana. It was their easiest game and it wasn't an easy game, but it was the e easiest game of these three. They got the three points. That was the goal. You know, that's been the goal for months. So they've accomplished that. I think they need to either beat if they beat Portugal or through, if they tie Portugal, I think they're still going to be okay the way this group is shaping up based on the first results. What, what about the playing conditions? I mean, there's, there's just, it seems like it's been pretty humid. Yeah, right? it's hot, and then, you know, this, the next game's in Manaus, which is basically in the Amazon. It's a rainforest condition. That's, that's where England and Italy played. So that'll be different. Um, you know, Brazil is such a big country, and, and this tournament is so spread out that you have all different types well, of right. conditions. You have tropical conditions. You have, you know, humid rainforest conditions. In the south, it, it might even be cold. So depending on where they're playing, it's going to be different. I mean, obviously, it was very hot last night, and it's going to be even hotter in Portu when they play Portugal in the house. All right, Jeff. Thanks all so right, much. Thank you. We're looking forward to the rest of it. Yeah.